guys, my name is Katie Chu. Welcome to my channel. I'm very glad to have you. And today we're going to be playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. I have never played Animal Crossing before, so this will be a new experience. I'm going to go ahead and decorate my own island and have a good time. I've always wanted my own island, and now that dream is going to be a reality. Uh, this game came out on March 20th. It's currently April 18th, so I'm kind of late, but I had to wait for it to come in the mail. Because the world is closed. Yeah, here we go. That's me. But yeah, I've never played Animal Crossing before, so this is brand new for me. And it'll be a good time. I'm excited. And I hope you are too. There it is. That's my new home. Bob it into water. Nook Inc. Deserted Island Getaway Package. Bacate de Escapada al Sole Islas Desertas. I just butchered that. Oh! Timmy, good morning! We're so excited to have you here. And have you here? Let us be the first to congratulate you on your wise decision to sign up for this adventure. Mm, they're so cute. Cute little Tanuki babies. Welcome to the check in counter for your deserted. Island getaway package. There's so much to look forward to. But first, let us introduce ourselves. I'm Timmy with Nook Inc. And I'm Tommy. We'll be flying to the island with you to help you get settled. Think of us as your partners. We're in it for the long haul. So, let's get started, shall we? Sounds good to me. Now then, we'll need to look up your application. Can we have your name and birthday? Birthday? Name. Once you pick a name, you can't change it. People you don't know might see this during local or online play. Alright, let's go ahead. Applicate. Ah, I made a little sound. It all fits. Are you sure okay with Kitachu? Yes. Birthday. Month and day. You cannot change your birthday later. People you don't know might see this during local or online play. Well, I was born in January. I was born on the first though. But if I was, I'd always have my birthday off. Confirm. Is January 14th your birthday? Yes it is. And don't you ever forget my birthday again. Get it you, get it you. Let's see. Oh yes, here you are. I was about to say you better have my information. I made this reservation a long time ago. Our next step will be to take a picture of you, Kitachu. Oh, oh, don't worry. Take as much time as you need to get yourself looking just the way you want. I'll be ready when you are. You are. I take it the other twin is just repeating everything he says. Choose your style. You can change this later. I can change if I'm a boy or a girl later. <coughs> okay, let's make a mob, baby. Now, I am a pasty pale motherfucker, so we're gonna make you white as shit. Hair. Oh. Alright. Piggy tails? I think this is my new look. No, not really. Oh, here's the colors. Red. Oh, no more colors. I look like Ron Weasley. I guess I'll go with the piggy tails. Eyes. Well, that's freaking me out a bit. Oh, I got cat eyes. Oh, those are cute. That's scary. Oh, 
Oh, okay, I'm gonna go with these anime eyes. And I have the blue eyes. So we click the blue. Yeah, yeah, I'll go with the anime eyes. Your nose, I can have square, or circle, or triangle. I have a little circle. Oh, I can have cat mouth. Or buck teeth, why would I want buck teeth? I have cat mouth. I have cat mouth. What is this? Oh, those are little, like, cheekies and stuff. I can have blush cheeks, like a Pikachu. Yeah, I have cheekies like a Pikachu. Hair, I really wish there were more options. Me. <coughs> Alright, I guess this is fine. Does everything look okay? You can change your look later. I know I can, because... As I saw on the box. Oh wait, no, she doesn't. She's got orange hair. Was it on the inside? Yeah, as I saw on the box, you can have pink hair. So I'll just change it pink later. This is okay, I guess. All right, let's go. You can change your look later. Okay. Aw, great, you're all set. Awesome. I'll just go ahead and add that picture to your records. And now, let's start talking about your new home. So exciting! Exciting! You see, we're quite proud of the work we've done to help make you feel comfortable in your new life. Oh yes, in fact, if you want, you can even experience the seasons the same way you're used to them. Hmm. You can manipulate the weather, that's pretty... That's, that's pretty... Yeah. How, how, how do you... How do you do that? I mean, that's good to know, but how do you do that? What kind of witchcraft are you two using? What I mean is, we have islands in both the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. Oh, okay, that makes more sense than witchcraft. <laughs> oh, he's like, yeah, yeah. We recommend choosing an island that has the same seasonal pattern as your current home. Current home. So tell me, Kenichu. Where do you live now? North America? Not North America. Ah, excellent. That information, information, that information really helps us focus on just the right island for you. Okay, I thought it was just one island, but they've got a whole chain of islands under their control. So, naturally, we'd recommend that you relocate to an island in the Northern Hemisphere. There are a few more decisions to make, but does that sound okay for you so far? Okay, so then hemisphere? Oh, I'm not sure. No, we're gonna do that. Very good. We have a number of lovely uninhabited, I uninhabited, I uninhabited islands in the northern hemisphere to choose from. Well then, all of our islands are approximately the same size, and they're all quite natural. How are they all the same size? So don't worry about whether you'll have enough space or comfort. You can't go wrong. I want an island as big as Australia, okay? Oh, they're so happy. Just follow your instincts and choose an island with a layout that looks appealing. That's how I'd do it. They're so happy. I'll show you some maps now and you can choose the best one for your new home. Choose your island. Uh, I'm gonna pick this one because it has a baby island in the middle of the main island. Is this the island you want? Yes. Wonderful choice. Good choice. I can't wait to show it off for you. Ah, but before we depart, I have just one final question for you. Ooh, this classic question. If you could bring only one thing with you to a deserted island, what would it be? What would it be? A sleeping bag, a lamp, some food. S uh, okay, that's just something to kill time. I definitely read that as something to kill me. <laughs> um, food would probably be the best idea. So I don't die. You wouldn't have anything to plug the lamp into. Why would you bring the lamp? Well, I guess it could be a solar-powered lamp. I'm gonna say something to kill time. How interesting. <laughs> I love their faces. Oh, 
I'm sorry. It was just a hypothetical question. Milk Ink will fully cover all of your basic needs. Yes, yes. Your attention, please. The chartered flight to Nooks Island, Desert Island Getaway, is get is ready for boarding. Any customers waiting to board should make their way to the gate at this time. Ah, perfect timing. Come on, let's all board the plane together. Together. Tommy is sure. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for taking this chartered flight as part of Nook Inc.'s Deserted Island Getaway Package. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy a complimentary video presentation about Deserted Island Live. That looks nice. It looks like summertime. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ, that is the biggest cicada I've ever seen in my life. That was horrifying. a nice little commercial. Put a hammer in there. A Nook Inc. production. How much longer is this going to take? Hey! Oh, I have peaches! I have a bunch of little butts popping out of my trees. <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually had a peach before. I really don't. I don't remember ever once eating a peach. I remember eating peach flavored things. I think I've had peaches in smoothies. I don't think I've ever actually eaten the little butt fruits themselves, though. Poto. To me. Right here! Now I know you must be incredibly excited to explore your new island home, but I have one small request. Could you please join us for a short orientation session in the nearby plaza? Mm. Our fearless leader himself will be giving a presentation, so I'd hate for you to miss it. We're heading right there now if you'd like to move if you'd like to move L to follow us. What what did I do? Oh, they're going too. Hey. This is a little chubby guy. Chubby hamster. Hamlet. Talk later. Jack now. Let's go. Oh, well, alright. I wanna explore. Look at that cute little baby. Um, aeroplane. I wanna swim in the water. Dodo. I guess I should follow the others so I don't get separated. Fuck that. I wanna do my own thing. Look at these little peaches. Can I pick you up? Can I pick you up? How do I do that? I am pushing all of the buttons and I don't know how to pick them up. Oh, it's a baby Butterfree! Hello, Butterfree! How are you all doing? She says, Welcome to the island. I want to pick the stuff up. Alright, I guess they're just gonna rot on the ground. Alright, bye Butterfree. Guard my peaches. Don't let any bad bugs eat them. Thank you. Butterfly. You look like Beautifly. Alright, here we go. Oh, look, there's Tom Nook himself. He's about to... <sighs> scam me. Make me give him all my money. Alright, is that everyone? Let's see. Yeah, there's like basically nobody here. Is Diva here? <laughs> Diva, that's her name, the little purple one. That's cute. And how about Hamlet? 
And there's Katie Joe, of course. Great, we're all here. I'll turn it over to you, Mr. Nook. Our three adventurers are ready to get started. Yes, yes, very good. Now let's see, how shall I begin? Yes, of course. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to your new island. Man, I gotta share this island. I don't wanna share shit with nobody. My name is Tom Nook, and I'm the founder and president of Nook Inc. Yes, yes. Today is the first day of your new life on this pristine and lovely island. So congratulations! And this is a package deal. Mm. As such, Nook Inc. Will, N Nook Inc. staff will always be here to support you and ensure your comfort and safety. But, first things first, yes, yes. I'd like each of you to choose a spot of your own. It's the first step to putting down some real rules. I'd like you to dream big. I do have certain connections in construction and real estate, and... Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's just get started with a simple tent, shall we? Please collect your tent from Timmy or Tommy, and then choose a spot to place it. I want the baby island. Hey, where'd they go? Oh, those motherfuckers better not have taken my baby island. Tommy or Timmy will be happy to provide you with a tent. Hmm? Find them. Here you go, Katie Chu. Your very own tent. Better be bug proof. Once you find the perfect spot, press X to exit to access your inventory. Then select your tent to place it. Don't worry. You'll get a chance to see what it looks like before making your final decision. Oh thank God. And you'll want a little breathing room, so take your time finding a space that works for you. Oh, I suppose I should probably set you up with a map, too. That'd be nice. Once you've put up your tent, please find your way back here. Use your new map if needed. Well, off you go. I hope you find a great spot. Thank you, Timmy. Mm. You can place your tent among the trees or maybe near the beach, wherever you like, as long as it fits. I want the baby island. Okay, so X is the inventory. Oh no, I want to add things to my inventory. I want to take those little butt fruits and oh, they're already back in the tree. Alright, I see how it is. Oh, nope, they're here. They didn't go back in the tree. They're just laying on the ground still. No, I don't want to do that. Hamlet, he probably recites Shakespearean um, works. Little chubster. Yo, I'm Hamlet. You're Katie Chu, right? Nice to meet you, Hammy. So, find a good place for a tent? I'm looking to pitch mine somewhere close to nature so I can train my body and my soul, Hammy. Ham, 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 it's our own. Little hamsters be good, then Alright, I want the baby island. Ooh, you're a big, pretty butterfly. Alright. I wanna go on the island. That's where I took to this one. Are you worried about finding just the right spot? Don't be. For now, she. Oh, he looks sad. For now, she has a spot that speaks to you. Trust your instincts. It has always worked for me. Yes, yes. And down the road, if you feel that you've made a mistake, you can talk about relocating. Hmm? Oh, I used to wear one. Diva. Here, wait. I got it. Don't tell me. You're kidding, you, right? See, I told you I had it. I'm Diva. I gotta tell you, I'm excited to do this whole island thing, you know? Looks like we're both having trouble deciding where to set up our tents. I mean, it's a pretty big decision. Of course, no matter where we settle, of course, no matter where we settle down on this little island, at least we'll be neighbors. Yeah. What's your face look like? I want to see your little baby face. Oh my! I thought those were your ears, <laughs> but those are those are your eye thingies. <laughs> That's a little scary. That's a little scary. 
That's alright. Oh, I shouldn't have said that to her face. That was rude. I'm sorry, Diva. Follow the river and it will lead you home. There was a fishy in there. I saw him. I saw him. I want to live on the island. I can't go to the island. That's why I picked this one. I wanted to live on the island. I can't get there. And they're not going to let me swim. Mm. Alright. Well. I want to put it on the beach because then it's just going to, uh, when the high tide comes in, I'm going to be fucked. So, go on back. I guess this is fine. Alright. Tent. Build here. Oh, should I put my tent here? Sure, why not? Let me imagine it. This is the spot. Time to rethink. Let me imagine it. Ooh, is this a good spot? Sure. Oh, she's so happy. I set up my tent. That's a big first step. Mailbox. Nothing new? Yeah, it's because I just stood it there. And... Tom Nook still needs to tell me a few things, so I better check this out later. Alright, fine, Tom. What do you want? What do you want? Are you going to tell me how to pick up a peach off the ground? Ah, Katie Chu, you must have found a suitable spot for your tent. Mm -hmm. You're the first one back, so I suppose the others must be searching for just the right location. You know, since you're already done, since you've already done some scouting, the others may appreciate your assistance. Yes, yes. Well, I, I gotta help them. Now I got a question. How do I save this game? Do I auto save? She's like, hmm. Oh, it's cute. All right, guys. I think that's gonna be it for today's episode. Thank you so very much for watching. I love you, and I'll see you next time. Okay. Bye bye. And if you need help setting up your tent, let me know. I, I probably won't be able to help you though. Sorry. But I'll try. I'll try.